While most people see scuba diving as just an activity, we see it as a way of life. A chance to escape reality and explore new depths we didn't know were possible. As humans, we are drawn to the ocean. The curious, what secrets does it hold? What creatures lurk below? The sea is calling us. Adventure awaits. We just have to go into the deep. My name is Eli Williams and I've been diving for 10 years. I'm 20 years old and I have over 985 dives. My name is Luke Gray and I have been diving for 12 years. I got into scuba diving because my dad, he all uh, builds custom aquariums. So I was always surrounded by the ocean life and scuba all throughout my life. So I thought it was really, really cool. And I pursued it as soon as I got to the age of 10. And here I am, dive professional at the age of 20 now. So. Pretty cool. I got into scuba diving because I always surfed and fished above the water and wanted to know what was under the water. So I took a dive in 2010 and the rest is history. Local dive shops were affected by COVID-19 with trying to social distance in the pool was pretty difficult. We could no longer go through the skills and the training like we used to be able to just due to all the extra precautions, masks, uh, and as you know, there are a lot of skills in the open water training program that involves swapping regulators and um, redundancy with your buddy, and unfortunately we weren't able to do that. We had to keep our regulators in our mouth at all times above the surface. We had to sanitize and disinfect our equipment more often as well. Now on the dive shop side of things in itself, as with every industry, the shipping was impacted, so it took a lot longer for us to uh, get um, product in, for us to sell to the students and get them into the water. But we've been making do with it, and so far, uh, we haven't been doing that bad. When it came to the in-training, of course, we're still socially distancing. Um, a lot of different questions were added onto our medical revolving around COVID-19. We had to modify the skills to still be able to uh, recreate them as if the situation were happening, if that makes sense. The risk of scuba diving is not listening to your instructor, not diving often. It's important to dive always and often to refresh yourself and listen to your professionals. There are a lot of risks, however, all those risks are so easily preventable. By getting the proper knowledge, skills, education, and gear, when incidents do occur, everybody around you is pretty much trained from the start of their program to the end, um, so everybody knows how to react pretty accordingly. So in order to become a scuba diver here at Lynn Haven Dive Center, uh, there's a few steps that you have to take to complete all of the training. The training that's required for an open water scuba diver is gonna be the online e-learning course. So when you come in here and you meet with us face to face, what we'll do is we'll set you up with your online training. Once you've completed that, you come in and you take the in-classroom portion as well as the pool portion. Do three to four open water dives with your dive shop. This is really where we're going to reinforce all of the online training and actually introduce you to getting into the water and uh, working on skills, understanding in this situation I need to do this, in this situation I need to do that. That way when you get into the open water uh, to complete your final open water dives, you're completely ready, ready to rock and roll, you know all the skills, and you're gonna be a comfortable and confident diver to crush that final test. Lake Phoenix is a 65 foot depth lake. Uh, it's really beautiful, and I think it's really cool how just a couple hours away from here, if you don't wanna go into the ocean or you haven't reached that training level yet, the lake is still a great option. There's great visibility uh, for the area. There's great te water temps in the summer and plenty of stuff to see. Uh, one of the clearest lakes in the East Coast with a lot of structures underwater, such as a plane and a helicopter, cars and boats. A lot of fun. The school bus and the airplane are my personal favorite. I like swimming through them uh, and bring my students around so that they can see the whole thing and see an airplane underwater. I think that's pretty cool. 
So my happiest memory scuba diving has to be when I was in the Bahamas on the Blackbeard's Liveaboard. That was uh, mind blowing. My senior year of high school, I skipped school. And let me tell you, I was so happy getting on that plane, heading down to the Bahamas while everybody else was in school. And uh, just seeing all the marine life and enjoying the warm weather and the beautiful water was really, really, really just made me so happy, so filled with serotonin. You know what I mean? My happiest dive memories, I would say traveling the world with incredible divers and listening to how they got started and facing their fear of claustrophobic or being underwater and then going to the beautiful islands of the Bahamas, and the Caribbean, Roatan, Honduras, and so forth. My top destination in the world right now is the Maldives. I don't know what it is about that, but just both the culture on the top side and the landscape on the top side as well as the just beautiful diving you have in the Maldives is um, it's mind-blowing to me and I really really want to visit their city. Uh, everyone has an opinion about a sport like scuba diving but until you try it don't knock it. Listen to your instructor. It's the ultimate peace being underwater. It's the best feeling I've ever had in my life. Just get to glimpse into a world that the majority of the population will never see I find that really, really interesting. I think that's why people uh, pursue scuba diving, even though it's a dangerous sport. You know, we're always here, open seven days a week, and you can come on in um, and get the training just like that. We're super friendly here, we don't bite, so come on in and visit. That's the first step that you gotta take. As our journey comes to an end, a new one is just beginning. Where will your adventure take you?